Namaste, but I'm Chris Ho, the Pinelli Castocha. Hi everyone, this is Yakety Thack here. Uh, this is part two of my Nepali writing series. If you've seen the first video, then you, you know I've written some, uh, you know, just quick phrases, how to say hello and stuff like that, just normal things. And in the time that I've done since that, had since that video, I've uh, I found a YouTube channel where there's a girl who will teach you how to pronounce all the consonants, how to write them, all the vowels. And it's all free. It's on YouTube. And also the half letters. Now, this isn't a thing in Roman or Latin script languages usually, but it's definitely a major component of Nepali. So I made sure that I took my time to write that out clearly. And then as I said in a Gujarati writing video, on this one, I told myself, it's we're doing numbers. We're going to write the numbers in the Nepali script. That bow tie looking thing is their four. And char is how you would pronounce it. It might be slightly different in Nepali than how I say it. But you understand. So I've written all the numbers out. I've written them in their Nepali script. I've written them in the Roman transliteration after. I've written the Roman number followed by the Nepali script numbers from 0 to 100. And this really helps you practice muscle memory for writing the characters. Okay, my favorite number is 54. Meramana Namba Nambara Chawanaho. Parna Anyways, I'm still practicing. I do not mean any disrespect to the Nepali people or their language. And then just for more practice, so you can see how clean the writing looks, how legible it is. Just the opposite words. Just a brief video that the same uh, YouTube channel had. Learn Nepali with Parsha. And the idea here is not to gain fluency, because you'll never gain any kind of fluency by learning just single words. Okay? This is writing practice. I haven't even begun to learn the actual grammar and Nepali language. I'm just showing you the baby steps that I take. Every pebble that you throw on the same pile eventually turns into a mountain. And language, any one of them, it should always be uphill, an uphill journey, because you're always gaining. Every time you say a word, it's practice. No matter how many times you've said it, how many times you wrote it, it's always, always practice. I've spoken English for over 40 years, and I still do it incorrectly. I've made it mistakes just in this brief video. The idea is to let your ego go and forget about that. Study how the words are pronounced, how they sound, and don't waste time telling the word how it should sound. More than likely, you're incorrect. But this is the Nepali language. It's very similar to Hindi, but it's completely different. Nepal is a very unique country. Yakitak here. Language is free knowledge. Keep talking.